Hi guys, so this video is basically just a short update of what's been going on recently and why I haven't posted a video in a while. So firstly, the sole reason for this is because I've attended two lands in the last two weeks of my team. Um, firstly, I flew to Ireland on the 24th of June, which was when I posted my last video. This was to take part in the Dublin eSports LAN, which was obviously hosted in Dublin. Overall, the LAN was quite good and enjoyable. It was nice to spend a couple of days in Dublin. I wrote a blog on Tech9 about this LAN and what happened, and I will also put the link in the description if you want to read it. Unfortunately, we only finished third for this LAN, which was pretty disappointing in general, as we could have easily taken second place, at least, and maybe even pushed to first place. Everything's explained in the blog anyway, so give it a read. After that, I flew home on the Monday to have two days break on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then I had to fly to Amsterdam and get another two-hour train to a place called Enschede, which is close to the German border, I think, for a, another land called Sage Land. First day when we arrived, we pretty much did nothing because we arrived quite late, as my flight was like at 6 p.m. or something. And then uh, we went back to the hotel and slept. Friday, we went to the land pretty early for some reason, even though we weren't playing, so we basically just did nothing at all apart from be bored and then just sat around and wasted time the entire day. Saturday finally came and we played well in the groups and beat all of our opponents and only conceded like 17 rounds or something overall, so we were all pleased with that. And then uh, we were ready for the playoffs on the next day. I also think we went go-karting on Saturday, which was awesome. On Saturday we had like these really awesome PCs, well for a turn up and play LAN at least, so uh, we liked those PCs and we were told to get to the event for 1pm, so we, as we arrived at 1pm we were told the Nexus had been there for like 4 hours or something earlier, just so they could get those PCs, so that was a bit weird. But anyway, we were doing pretty well on Sunday and made our way into the final eventually where we did come against the Nexus, who we lost against in Dublin with like the closest game ever. This time we didn't actually play well at all and we lost quite hard on Backlot even though we managed to like nearly beat them on Backlot in Dublin. And City Streets wasn't that wasn't that bad, but overall it's still a loss, so again, disappointing. But we've only been a team for like four weeks, while they've been a team for years, so hopefully we can pick it up again at the next few lands, which are in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be of course continuing with my tutorials, uh, I've still got to finish going over some maps in detail, like Backlot. And also since I've got all these demos from these two lands, now I can do some commentary on the demos and so on, so hopefully you'll all enjoy that. And I'll be doing those in the next couple of days after I've finished recovering from my traveling everywhere. Lastly I'm going to be putting the links in the description of the games which were streamed of my team at both of these events. Uh, Dublin was streamed by HDK TV and Chaos TV for Sage. Also I'd like to do a big shout out and appreciation to everybody who organized both of these events, especially Kosh for his Dublin event and Sean for all the effort he put in for the Sage event. So yeah, there's more lands coming up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, there's one called the Adroids LAN, I think that's how you say it, and it's in exactly the same place where we just had the Sage LAN. That's on the 19th of August, which is the day after my birthday, so I might be going to that. There's also one in Prague, I'm not exactly sure where. And also I've heard rumours that there's one in September, which is in the town that I live in, and I have no idea where they're going to host that, because we have nothing. But that'd be awesome, because I could just stay at my house. Uh, but yeah, hopefully ProMod can continue to grow and continue to gain loads more new players and interest.